In this tutorial, I'm going to show you very useful three options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks when I click. It will show you the first option and I have given the design of a folded paper. And when I click, it will show me the second option with a different color and then the third option with some orange color. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background. Then go to insert shapes. Under rectangles, select rectangle top corner surrounded and then draw a rectangle, maybe of this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline and give some light color to this. I'm going to use this uh, white or off white and then I would like to rotate this shape. I can rotate it uh, by three different ways. First, I can use this circular arrow and just rotate it something like this or I can select the object first then alt and right arrow key. I can just hold the alt key and the right or left arrow key to rotate the object or I can just go to under format rotate I can just rotate it something like this also so I would like to rotate right 90 degrees and bring here at the beginning of the slide let me just increase the size some more and make sure that the corners here are curved and here they should not be any curved now I'm going to add another shape. I can maybe I can just select this and press Ctrl D to duplicate or I can just go to insert shape and again select the same shape which is rectangle top corner surrounded. Again make it a smaller one. Make it fully curved. Shape outline. Make it no outline and shape fill. I'm just going to give for the time being a different color then I'm going to use some gradient fill so just select any color here and rotate it I can just rotate it something like this straight and exactly put it here and increase it from the top so it looks something like this and if you want you can do further modifications for, for example you can just right mouse click and just say edit points and you can see here there are six points so i'm just going to delete this point in the middle for that bring the cursor there right mouse click and just say delete point and this point i'm selecting and i'm just increasing the size so it gives me kind of this shape Using the mouse, select this shape and right mouse click, go to format shape. I'm going to give a gradient fill. You can see here it is solid fill. I just, I'm going to just change to gradient fill. When you select the gradient fill, you have got some different stops. So I'm just going to select this and delete, select this and delete. And whenever, if you see the page when it's folding or folded you can see the curves are always dark so or the sides are always dark for that reason I'm just going to select this and I'm going to select the same color which I have selected and then again go to colors go to more colors and you can see here the shade so I'm just going to in increase the size of the shade and just say okay you can see here there's something and then here i'm just going to add kind of a shadow effect or shining effect for that i'm going to use a white and again here i can use the same color or i can use somewhat darker also let me just increase a little bit so you can see here but the problem here it is not fully visible 
white is not visible because we have not added the shadows so i'm going to select this particular shape press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to make it a solid fill okay you cannot see here but this is solid fill and i can increase the transparency level and go to effects soft edges increase the size okay like this and make it more transparent and bring it here and send this to back format send back now you can see here that page is looks like a, a folded now and increase the size So you can see the difference here. If I remove this one, it looks like a plain flat. The moment I added the shadow, the whole shape is looking different now. So this is one and the one more we need to add after we added the second option, the shadow I would like to add one more shadow here. Then it's time to add some text. For that, go to insert text box and just say zero 01 i'm going to change the font to century gothic or you can select any of your favorite font increase the size make it bold center aligned and keep it here and later on we can change the color of the font and then i'm going to add some more detailed text here add your detail text here i'm just typing some random text here center align the same century gothic reduce the size and go to format just send back so you can see here The first option is ready. Now it's time to add the second option. Now I'm going to select all the shapes or all the objects. I can use the mouse. I can just drag it or from here, maybe something like this. You can see here, hold the mouse key and just select the whole region. And then you can see here all the objects got selected or I can simply select control A to select all the objects. So whatever, so either I can use the mouse, highlight all the objects and text, so it got selected, or press control A to select all the objects. And then using press, to duplicate, press control D, so just press control D, it got duplicated and I'm going to bring it here. And then let me just change this number to two and change the color of this to some different color. Either you can go to format or you can just select some good colors from here. And this one, I'm just going to increase the size and send it till here and just say send to back so your second option is ready it's time to change the color for these options also so i'm going to select this and this also i'm going to select the same color but only this top go to more colors i'm going to use the same technique which i'm going to make it more darker shade here so you can see here more darker shade and this is second. Likewise, I'm just going to select only these options. So you can see here, there are some other objects also got selected or highlighted. So I'm just going to remove that by holding the shift key. 
so you can see here only this options whatever i need got selected press ctrl d again to duplicate it and bring it this side and change the color to some other color nice colors and send this to back and this also i'm going to use the same technique i'll select the darker this also the same color again selecting the first and making it more darker as i said i have to use some shadow effects for that i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate it bring it here and send to back you can see here ctrl d again for this send back again ctrl d for this and make it transparency zero and send back you can maybe change the color to full black so you can see here the design is ready let me just change this to three and if the black fonts are not visible for this let's make it white font so you can see here our design is ready now let me show you the animation uh, just for the one option first of all close the format background go to animations enable the animation pane and select the first option this one go to add animations select more entrance effects and i'm going to select the stretch click ok and you have got effect options stretch i'll say from left so it comes something like this and then i'm going to select this option and i'm going to add the same animation which is go to more entrance effects i'll say stretch okay now this time not from left i'll say from right so you can see here and i can just say with previous or after previous so if i say after previous what happens let's see and it comes something like this you can see here and then i'm going to select the shadow effect and i will just simply say a wipe effect options from right and this should go with previous and when i play you can see here something like this it is coming and this shadow also i can just use the same effect which is a wipe now this time from left and this also with previous so if i play you can see here the only thing is this shadow it's coming the same time so i want to delay it or i can just say after previous also so let's play now yeah and make sure that this is sent to fully back go to format yes otherwise half it was on this so let me just play again yes or i can just simply make this animation again with previous let's see how it looks once again yeah this is perfect now the animation is done for this first and you can just add some animation to the text also and using the animation painter i can go simply click on animation and i can click here so likewise you can simply do the animation to the other options as well
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye